Hello, that is the Peugeot 308 GT. Think of it as a sensible, practical family car until you press this little button here, the sport switch. When you do that, you get this power torque and boost meter and everything gets a lot more electric. A couple of months back, I explored the Peugeot 308 GT line. Well, now I'm back. This time I'm in the more powerful sibling within the 308 lineup. This is the Peugeot 308 GT. Now, first thing to take note of is look at it from the outside. It's got these propeller style wheels, wide flared arches, the full LED lighting package, and an overall very sexy looking interior. And panache continues onto the inside. Inside, you're cosseted in this very dark and sporty style cabin, you've got this cross-colored stitching with the red, this red and black paneling and Peugeot's eye cockpit. Now the eye cockpit couples this very squared off sporty steering wheel with this large instrument cluster and everything in a very sports car style, almost pilot manner. When you look inside feature, which I absolutely love, it's this very traditional racing style silver ball gear knob. Not only is it a very large gear knob, it's metal touch. It just gives that real retro racing car feel. Now the Peugeot 308 GT features 151 kilowatts of power and 285 newton meters of torque and that makes it an extremely nippy little runaround. But I'll do the 0 to 100 sprint in 7.5 seconds and on to a top speed of 235 kilometers an hour. The 308 GT line was quick, but this is much, much quicker. You see, when you look at the Peugeot 308 liner, look at this Peugeot 308 like a thermometer. At the bottom you get the 308, then you get the 308 GT line, then you get this one, the 308 GT, and right at the top where it gets boiling hot, you get the 308 GTI. The amazing part about this car is, much like the 308 GT line which I did that long road trip in, I drove over 1500 kilometers in that car and whilst it remains incredibly comfortable and civilized, what you notice when you drive the GT is it's got this little button glowing at you and it says sport. The minute you hit this, the, the engine sounds are amplified and shot back at you. You push back into your seat with much more rapid gear changes and ahead of you got this readout which says power, turbo and boost. It really does make you feel like you're sitting in an incredibly sporty little car. The high cockpit squared off steering wheel further compensates and it makes this an incredibly fun car to drive. The 308 really does have two personalities. On the one hand it's a very practical, spacious, comfortable family cruiser but at the flick of a switch it'll rip you back into your seat and throw you around and you'll have a massive smile on your face all the way through. You also notice with the 308 GT, it's a very, very, it's a very taut and precise chassis. You can really feel it around the corners and it's a very fun car. It gives you a lot of feedback as the driver. Now when I drove the 308 GT line on that 1500 kilometer road trip, the one thing which I noted in that video, you can click on this link to watch that, is that it, the 308 line is extremely fuel efficient. Now the 308 GT, yes it's more powerful, but it still remains extremely efficient. I've been driving it now for a couple of days, I'm getting good consumption figures, and Peugeot claim it'll do 5.6 liters per 100 kilometers. That means it's 53 liter tank will get a claimed 950 kilometers of, cons of mileage out of it. Very, very impressive, especially when you consider the amount of fun and power you're getting from this engine. Overall, how would I sum up the Peugeot 308 GT? Well, think of it like this. 
it's the quiet kid sitting in the corner, but then suddenly he goes outside and he gives you a bloody good hiding. That's the difference between cruising along normally and hitting the sport button in the 308 GT. From me, Jason of Technobock, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now. Technobock.